Hey folks, welcome back to another Star Wars action figure review. This time we're looking at Quill from The Mandalorian. Really, really thrilled about this one. He looks fantastic. VC227. Again, thank you to Bulletproof Villain for uh, getting these in nice and quick. It's still hanging out for Lobot, Bib Fortuna, and Boca Tan. Hopefully, they will arrive in the coming weeks. I'm looking forward to those ones, but uh, yeah, really looking forward to this one. He was my, uh, the Black Series version of Quill was my favourite of 2020. He was uh, just still one of my favourite Black Series figures. So this one, I feel like he's going to be a favourite TVC figure of mine too. So he's looking absolutely awesome. And uh, even the colours are slightly, slightly better than the, the Black Series one. Just a little bit more, you know, sort of darker, I guess. Can't remember whether, maybe he had different outfits for for each of the episodes because he did there was a bit of a gap between his appearances in season one but yeah just a fantastic character and uh yeah let's without further ado let's open this one up and have a look all right here is quill and uh boy oh boy this is an absolutely fantastic figure i'm loving this one a lot this is going to uh this is going to come down to the wire i know it's we're still in the first week of 2022 but uh this one's gonna rank up pretty highly at the end of the year i think uh it's he's a, he's a quality looking action figure um yeah i love love the sort of greens and the and the browns real sort of nice sort of earthy colors sort of you know depicts the character who is very grounded which is fantastic i just love that sort of love that look i don't know what it is he's just Little Ugnaught dude, who would have thought we could grow to love a little pig man with a beard? <laughs> he is fantastic. So yeah, the only real difference here from the Black Series version is his helmet isn't removable. It's fine, but that's that's cool. He doesn't actually take it off, so that was just a nice little bonus for the Black Series figure. But uh, definitely wasn't required. You know, he should be able to pop his head off easily, so he could pop off his little little scarf. Thingy, which does just sort of drape around drape around the neck like so. You can pop that off if you so choose. Just have him without that. Replace it with a material one. That would be a really cool look for the figure as well. But uh, yeah, I'm going to chuck it back on. Oh, I think I like it. I think it looks good. But yeah, it's a really, really nicely sculpted figure. I love the paint, I love the colours, like I said, just really, really nicely done there, Hasbro. Fantastic, I can't speak highly enough of this figure. Little accessories he comes with, he comes with his little rifle here, which is cool. So you should just sort of sling that on his shoulder or have him holding it, which I will do right now if I can. He is like a little, he is a small figure, so with my big bulbous hands, it's, it's a little awkward, especially behind a camera. And of course, everything's harder while you're recording. Uh, that's what she said. Um, <laughs> so yeah, it does hold that nicely. That's just in there. The trigger finger is, yeah, it's almost there. It's, it's a nice firm hold, so that's, that's good. That's what you want. Again, that's what she said. Um, and then his backpack, which looks nice. Cool little silver details down there, which is great. And yeah, that will peg in. Let's see how sort of tightly that fits in. Yeah, that's that's nice and snug. That's not going anywhere. It's not gonna fall out. You know, sort of you know, a reasonable pull. There we go. So that's looking good. Yeah, that just adds to the figure so much. Love the idea of him being you know, a little journeyman. You know, he's he's been around the galaxy, seen seen a lot of stuff since he. Uh, you know, we assume he was you know in, enslaved by the Empire to work for the Empire, as opposed to being you know a military man. He was uh, yeah forced to work under the Empire. And uh, yeah, I'm just this figure is fantastic. Um, great articulation, those sort of hips come out nice and wide. Um, I would suggest heating up the joints before trying to bend them, they are nice and tight, which is what... I don't know, something that Hasbro's done with the plastic in recent years, just, the joints are really tight, the plastic's really soft, so they probably 
prone to breaking if you're not careful so yeah we'll just dunk him in a little bit of warm water or under a hairdryer or something just to sort of soften that plastic before you start moving those joints around and just be firm but tight with the joints just yeah just take your time you don't want to go bending them and snapping them because yeah that would that would be devastating especially at the price of these things now but yeah as i was talking about with the articulation the hips come out wide so i don't know are we going to get a blurg i would love to see a blurg in vintage packaging i think that would be amazing it would absolutely be a fantastic addition you know blurg two pack and then you've got mando you've got quill writing some blurgs it'd be just absolutely fantastic i would love that so much and i think i stand on beside every other tvc collector that would would love to see some blurgs come out it just becomes such an iconic part of the mandalorian lore um and the series i think you know it's a no-brainer give us the blurg hasbro let's make it happen so yeah let's get a nice little close up here check him out that is just fan freak fantastic absolutely brilliant i love this guy i have spoken yeah i'm a big i'm a big fan of quill i think he was just an absolutely brilliant character yeah unfortunately didn't quite make it through the season but um you know he served a great purpose um yeah had an honorable honorable passing and uh yeah he'd definitely be a be an icon to remember in the future of star wars because he's uh yeah certainly left a left a resound mark on us as fans i think so there is quill i'd love to hear your guys thoughts please drop them in the comments below what did you think of quill what do you think of this figure please share your thoughts let's have a strike up a conversation down in that old little comment section down there if you enjoyed this review please give it a thumbs up that would be greatly appreciated and if you're new to the channel please subscribe and even check out the uh membership tiers video that i have on the front of my channel if you want to join out and support i would greatly greatly appreciate it and it's uh it's great fun i love love what i do here at youtube so um thank you all very much for watching really do appreciate it Till my next video, may the force be with you, always.